Hey guys, so today I am at a Japanese restaurant and in Thailand, Japanese food is big. And I find it to be a little different from Japanese restaurants in North America as well. The food tends to be a little higher and so they, they tend to be expensive here. And But they have different offerings. So let's see what we've got. The first thing we've got is just basic salmon sashimi and this is looks like really good quality if you can see how much fat there is in that piece garnished with a little bit of flour and so what I think is really interesting with this is they have pickled wasabi so wasabi is an actual plant right and so instead of just giving you that paste which is oftentimes made from a powder this is pickled wasabi root and this one is scalloped with slightly torched it looks like and then the little dollop on top is mentaiko which is a kind of a fish roe so now I'm going to try the the scallop with mentaiko and I'm gonna dip it oh it's a little bit burnt underneath so that's a torching mmm <laughs> melted in my mouth a little creamy from the the roe and slight charred smokiness from that torching that is really good this is definitely stuff i can't find in canada but i don't know about you maybe you can find something like this where you live let me know this is shrimp tempura and i just wanted to point out how crispy that batter looks i mean you don't always get tempura batter to look like that at any old sushi place and also a little bit of a deep fried shiso leaf i believe so this is a seafood salad with lots of ikura, which is salmon roe. Oh, and there's other kinds of roe too. So there's the little ones as well. And so tons of mayo, there's avocado, salmon, um, imitation crab, and some veggies. So I guess this is our healthy dish of the day, if you can call it that. Oh. Wow, there's a lot more vegetables than I thought. A little bit of surf clam in this salad as well. So I've got this bite of veggies, some roe, and the surf clam. Pretty good. A little too much mayo for my liking, but if you like mayo, especially Japanese mayo, because that's what this is, it's really quite good. This is seared foie gras sushi. Now, there are only two pieces because only my brother and my friend are going to have it. I'm not a big fan of a big massive piece of foie gras like this, so I'm going to skip it. A bunch of sushi just arrived, so right here is blow-torched salmon with a miso sauce on top, and the miso has also been torched. This is some tuna sashimi, sorry, tuna sushi. And this right here is um, engawa sushi, which is the fin of halibut. That's what we're told anyway. Halibut fin, and it's been torched a little bit with a little bit, a little bit of tobiko on top, and you eat that with a ponzu sauce. All right, this is the engawa sushi. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it literally melted in my mouth like it just kind of disappeared I think it's very fatty a little bit of a smokiness from the from the torching mm. really quite good and not something I can easily find in Vancouver so I'm super excited about this place <laughs> 